I'm Wayne Hudson. I'm Jeremy Tillman. And here we are with another coaching tip for the Christ life. You know, Jeremy, as you continue to walk through uh, and teach through the book of James, you know, last time we talked about just the importance of the, of the word and the power yeah. of the word to save somebody mm -hmm. and to change somebody's life. But as you continue tracking down through there, the next verse says that we need to be doers mm. of the word. That we don't just need to hear it, we need to place ourselves under its mm. authority. Uh, you know, there's one thing for us, you know, we're sitting here in the sanctuary at Williamsville. It's one thing for us to come in here and for you to get up here and preach the truth of the word. But there's something totally different that moves me to the point that I obey the word. That I understand how important this mm -hmm. is, how powerful it is, and I place myself under its authority. You know, you know how do I actively become a doer of the truth of the word of God. I think that goes back all it goes back to us being in a, in this close intimate relationship with Jesus, okay. understanding that relationship with Jesus. Yeah. And, and it's a word that we use around here often, it goes back to abiding. Yes, it does. It goes back to abiding yeah. the the doing yeah. of the word, the being obedient to the word. All of that that is really the obedience is a result of us being with Jesus. Yeah of us abiding yeah. uh, in him. Okay. And yeah. I think that is the, the biggest thing uh, that we a lot of times miss is we miss that aspect of it. And I think sometimes I know in my own personal life when I hear being a doer of the word, a lot of times what I do then is I put so much emphasis on me doing it, yeah. in which I am doing it, but if I'm not careful, I'll do it out of the flesh. Yeah rather than out of an intimate, growing relationship with Jesus, yeah. relying on him and being dependent on him, which is that abiding yeah. principle. That all, don't you think oftentimes we view it as something we got to do? Yeah. Instead that's, of that's, something yeah. that just flows out of us yeah. because of relationship. Yeah. That, that the doing becomes very evident as I simply surrender and mm -hmm. abide and walk with Jesus. I understand that the doing is something that God does in me and mm -hmm. through me, and it's the best possible thing for me. Yeah. I heard somebody put it like this one time. Obedience is the fruit That's right. that flows out of us right. being with Jesus. Yeah. That's right. So we encourage you, be doers of the word. Uh, don't do it because you think you have to. Yeah. Let it be an overflow of your love relationship with Jesus. So let's don't just be hearers. Let's go ahead and let's, through the power of God's presence that lives within us, let's be doers. Let's live out the Word of God empowered by His presence as we live out a love relationship with Jesus. Have a blessed day and let Jesus be Jesus in you.